private DNA testing. What is DNA testing used for? What do the results provide? Is it easy? Does it hurt? In today's advanced world of technology, the world of DNA can be explored. Biosynthesis Incorporated offers private DNA testing. This testing includes the ability to determine paternity, maternity, siblingship, grandparentage, twin zygosity, and more. Private DNA testing is available for various reasons, but most often simply for peace of mind. The sample collection can be done in the privacy of your own home, but you must follow the directions in order to achieve optimum results. The collection kit will be mailed to you for at-home DNA collection. This kit is used to collect buccal swab samples from each person that is to be tested. The materials that you will find in your kit are sterile cotton tip swabs, two per person, color-coded storage envelopes, one per person, instructions, authorization form, disclaimer, case number card, and a return envelope. The process for collecting buccal swab samples is very simple. First of all, the samples should be collected one person at a time to avoid any mix-up. The mouth should be clean prior to swabbing. This means no food, gum, candy, or soda in the mouth. It is not necessary to rinse with mouthwash or brush the teeth prior to swabbing. Merely rinsing with warm water is sufficient. Since there are two cotton swabs provided, Please use the first one to swab one cheek and the second one to swab the opposite cheek. The correct form for swabbing is 8 to 10 strokes of the inner cheek per swab in a rolling motion. This will typically yield a good sample for DNA testing. Please make sure that baby's mouths are free of milk or formula at the time of sample collection. Milk and formula will contaminate the sample and will result in the need for recollection. Feeding a bottle of water or wiping out the baby's mouth prior to sample collection will help get a clean, accurate sample. As the samples are collected, place them back into the original packaging and then seal into the appropriate color-coded envelope. Label each envelope with a name, this can be an alias, date of collection, and initials of both the sample collector and the client, this can be the same person. DNA paternity testing will reveal a probability of paternity written as a percentage, which indicates whether or not an alleged father is the biological father of the child in question. A probability of paternity of 0% is called an exclusion and indicates that the alleged father is not the biological father of the child. A probability of paternity of greater than 99.9% .9 is called an inclusion and indicates that the alleged father is the biological father of the child. The same percentages apply in DNA maternity testing. For all other familial DNA tests, a probability of relationship is determined and may range anywhere from less than 1% to 99% to 99.9999%. We are capable of providing higher probabilities if and when necessary. Buccal or oral swab samples are used in over 95% of DNA tests. This is because they have been proven to be a consistent, reliable source of DNA. We can analyze various types of forensic samples when buccal swab samples cannot be provided. Please contact a case consultant to discuss options for submission of forensic samples. When a buccal swab is collected, oral epithelial cells are suspended in the cotton tip. It is common for people to assume that blood samples are a better source of DNA and that buccal swab samples may not give an accurate result. This, however, is not necessarily true. DNA is the same in every nuclear cell of a person's body. So, whether examining epithelial cells or white blood cells, the DNA is the same. The possibility for contamination may be higher with buccal swab samples, but if they're collected and sealed appropriately, contamination is unlikely. When placed into the packaging as instructed, buccal swabs are allowed to air dry, which translates into higher potential for remaining viable for quite a long time, even months. However, it is recommended that all samples be returned to the laboratory for testing within a week of collection. 
Currently, there are three forms that need to be filled out. The authorization form, the instruction sheet with payment option information, and the disclaimer form. Starting with the authorization form, there are currently five relationship boxes on the front page. The only information we need is for the persons who will be tested. Please note that where a name is requested, an alias may be used. Role in the case, in other words, the mother, alleged father, etc. The date of the sample collection. The date of birth. Gender. And race. It is important to indicate ethnic origin as calculations are based upon genetic data from different racial databases. On the instruction page, you will find a credit card authorization section. If payment is due, please fill this out accordingly. It can be found on the back of the authorization page. The final form is the disclaimer form. This page explains Biosynthesis Incorporated's limitations of liability and must be signed by the person who is requesting the test. At the bottom of this page, you must list your physical address and or email address and or fax number. This is where the results of the test will be released. The test results will not be given over the phone. All information is kept strictly confidential. Results and all other information in a case are only released or discussed with authorized individuals. After the sample collection has been performed and the forms filled out, please send your completed test kit to the lab via U.S. Postal Service, FedEx, UPS, or DHL. Once all the samples are received for a test, results will be available within five to seven business days, and results are reported by mail, email, or fax only. If you wish to inquire about the status of your test, call 800 DNA exam and reference your case number. Discover the power of DNA testing today.